Hello dear friends, I am Amit Belekar from Tips and Tricks by AMB welcomes you to my channel. Before moving further, if you still didn't subscribe to my channel, please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon to get notifications of all my new videos. Today in this presentation we are going to discuss about monophysic liquid dosage forms for internal administration. After going through this video the learner will be able to define liquid dosage forms, enlist types of liquid dosage forms, define monophysic liquid dosage forms, classify monophysic liquid dosage forms and describe monophysic liquid dosage forms for internal administration. So let's discuss about liquid dosage forms first. Liquid dosage forms are the pharmaceutical dosage forms which are available in liquid state. In these dosage forms, drug or medicament is either dissolved or suspended or dispersed in a liquid medium or liquid vehicle. These can be intended for oral administration or parenteral administration or external application. Depending upon whether drug is soluble or insoluble in liquid medium, liquid dosage forms are of two types as monophysic liquid dosage forms and biphysic liquid dosage forms. Let's discuss what do you mean by monophysic liquid dosage forms. The dosage forms which appear as a single phase or continuous phase are called as monophysic liquid dosage forms. For example, true solutions or colloidal solutions. These are prepared by mixing solute in the solvent. The component of solution which is present in large quantity is called as solvent and the component which is present in smaller quantity is called as solute. Water is mainly used as solvent for majority of monophysic liquid dosage forms. A true solution is homogeneous means uniform, clear or transparent because in true solutions solute is in ionic or molecular form. In case of colloidal solutions even though solutes are in aggregates form they appear clear as these aggregates cannot be visible to naked eyes. Now, Let's discuss about types of monophysic liquid dosage forms. Monophysic liquid dosage forms are classified into two types as liquids for internal use and liquids for external use. Liquids for internal use are of different subtypes like syrups, elixirs, linctus, drops and rods. Liquids for external use are further subclassified into two types as liquids applied on the skin and liquids meant for body cavities. Liquids applied to the skin these are further subclassified into liniments and lotions and liquids meant for body cavities are of different types like gargles, throat paints, mouthwashes, eye drops, eye lotions, ear drops, nasal drops, sprays and inhalations. Let's discuss these types one by one. In this video we are going to discuss only monophysic liquid dosage forms for internal administration. First of which is syrup. So what are syrups? The liquid preparations in which vehicle is concentrated aqueous solution of sucrose or other sugar is called as syrups. 
दीज आर स्वीट एंड विस्कस प्रिपरेशन सिंपल सीरप इज अ सैचुरेटेड सोल्यूशन ऑफ सुक्रोज इन प्यूरिफाइड वॉटर सो वॉट इज मीनिंग ऑफ सैचुरेटेड सैचुरेटेड मीन्स बियॉन्ड दिस क्वांटिटी इफ वी एड मोर क्वांटिटी ऑफ सब्सटेंस इन द व्हीकल इट विल नॉट डिजॉल्व इन दैट व्हीकल in other perspective we can say that the capacity of vehicle to dissolve solute or that substance is over when it is saturated in case of sucrose if water is vehicle this capacity is 66% weight by volume means beyond that if we add sucrose in water it will not dissolve or solubilize in it till 66% it is dissolving but beyond that it is not dissolving so this is called as saturation thus in simple syrup sucrose is added in water at its saturation level and if quantity of sucrose in water increases the viscosity of that solution also increases thus syrups are viscous preparations now let's discuss about types of syrups syrups are of two types as medicated syrups and flavored syrups medicated syrups contain medicines or drugs in it while flavored syrups are the syrups containing aromatic or flavored substance in it these are mostly used as pharmaceutical aid as base in medicated syrups depending upon method of preparation syrups are of two types as follows syrups prepared by simple solution or mixing and syrups made by process of extraction now what are syrups prepared by simple solution or mixing these syrups are prepared by merely mixing sugars in water or medicament in simple syrup for example syrups ginger syrup orange syrup and lemon syrups are the examples of syrups prepared by simple solution method in case of syrups made by a process of extraction drug is extracted first and then syrup is prepared the example of syrup which is prepared by process of extraction is tolu syrup now let's discuss about advantages of syrups first advantage of syrups is that syrups prevents oxidation of medicament how it is possible sugars present in syrup is partly hydrolyzed into reducing sugars like levulose and dextrose these reducing sugars prevents oxidation of medicament or drug thus syrups can prevent oxidation of medicament second advantage is that it prevents decomposition of many crude drugs obtained from plant sources as syrups contains high concentration of sugar it has high osmotic pressure at that much high osmotic pressure growth of microorganism cannot be possible thus decomposition because of microorganisms can be prevented third advantage is that syrups are more palatable because of sweet taste and as these are sweet in taste children also happy to administer syrups another advantage of syrup is that syrup is useful as vehicle for nauseous substances as it is highly sweet in taste it mask the taste of nauseous substance and make that medication palatable okay these are the advantages of syrups next liquid dosage form we are discussing that is elixir what are elixirs elixirs are clear sweetened hydro alcoholic 
that is very important hydro alcoholic solutions intended for oral use and are usually flavored to enhance their palatability hydro alcoholic means vehicle is mixture of hydro and alcohol hydro means water and alcohol so hydro alcoholic means vehicle is mixture of water and alcohol elixirs are of two types as non medicated elixirs and medicated elixirs non medicated elixirs are employed as vehicles and medicated elixirs are used to achieve therapeutic effect of the medicament but elixirs have some limitations so what are the limitations of elixirs first limitation is elixirs are comparatively less sweet and less viscous as they contain a lower proportion of sugar than the syrups thus they are less effective in masking the taste of medicament than syrup next limitation is as elixirs contains alcohol elixirs cannot be employed in children so we cannot give elixirs to the children as it contains alcohol okay even though it is having some limitations elixirs are preferred over syrups in adults so let's see why elixirs are preferred over syrups in adults as elixirs are having hydro alcoholic nature elixirs are better able to maintain both water soluble and alcohol soluble substances in solution form as compared with the syrups so it can dissolve both the type of substances which are soluble in water as well as soluble in alcohol both type of substances can be incorporated in elixir form another advantage of elixir is that elixirs are more stable than syrup and these are easy to prepare than syrup hence elixirs are preferred to syrups let's discuss how much alcohol can we use in elixirs the proportion of alcohol in elixirs varies widely depending upon solubility characteristics of the medicament for elixirs containing medicament with poor water solubility the proportion of alcohol required is greater than elixirs prepared with medicament having good water solubility so if medicament is less water soluble poor water soluble we have to add more alcohol while preparing the elixirs okay now we will discuss formulation aspects of elixirs already we discussed that elixirs contain hydro alcoholic base in addition to alcohol and water glycerin propylene glycol are frequently used as adjuvant solvents in elixirs many sweeteners like sucrose sucrose syrup sorbitol glycerin and artificial sweeteners like saccharin can be added in elixirs flavoring agents and coloring agents are also added in elixirs to increase the palatability and elegance respectively so that is about elixirs now next monophasic liquid dosage form for oral administration is linctus so what are linctus these are viscous liquid oral preparations that are usually used for the relief of cough these are simple solutions containing a high proportion of syrup and or glycerin which give them sweet taste and soothing or demulcent effect on mucous membrane of throat now let's discuss how linctuses are administered the dose of linctus is small about 5 ml these are sipped and swallowed slowly without dilution to achieve prolonged effect in the throat linctus have mild expectorant action so what is expectorant 
दीज आर दी ड्रग्स विच आर हैविंग एबिलिटी टू एक्सपेल कफ फ्रॉम द रेस्पायरेटरी ट्रैक सो दीज आर कॉल्ड एज एक्सपेक्टोरेंट एंड लिंक्टस हैव माइल्ड एक्सपेक्टोरेंट एक्शन सिंपल सिरप इज जनरली यूज एज वेहीकल फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ द लिंक्टस टोलू सिरप इज ऑल्सो प्रिफर्ड एज इट इज हैविंग एरोमेटिक ओडर एंड फ्लेवर नेक्स्ट डोसेज फॉर्म वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इज ड्रॉप्स वॉट आर ड्रॉप्स देन ड्रॉप्स आर लिक्विड प्रिपरेशन मीन्ट फॉर ओरल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इन व्हेरी लेस डोस लेट्स डिस्कस वेअर ड्रॉप्स आर प्रिफर्ड ड्रॉप्स एज डोसेज फॉर्म इज प्रिफर्ड इन फॉलोइंग कंडीशन्स फर्स्ट कंडीशन इज इफ व्हेरी इम्पोर्टंट ड्रग्स विच आर इफेक्टिव in very small doses this type of drugs are incorporated in drops dosage form second is where need of drug dose is less these are preferred for example in pediatrics that is in children less dose is needed and in that case we can convert drugs into the drops another need is oil soluble vitamins like vitamin a and vitamin d concentrates in fish liver oil are also presented as drops as drops contain potent drugs the dose should be accurately measured let's see how we can measure the dose of drops there are two methods used for this purpose first is use of dropper which is accurately graduated in fractions of milliliter and second is use of pre calibrated droppers in pre calibrated droppers number of drops are equivalent to the dose of a particular drug the size of drops from dropper depends upon factors like surface tension viscosity density and temperature of liquid so we have to consider these factors while preparing pre calibrated droppers now we will discuss last monophasic dosage form for internal administration and that is drops what are drops drops are liquid oral preparations which are administered as a single dose that is dose of 50 ml and also prescribed as unit or single dose so here we can say that each dose is supplied in a separate container in case of pediatrics multiple doses are present as normal dose in pediatrics is lesser is about 10 to 15 ml dilution of dose is not accepted in drops as it affects stability of the solution now it's time to summarize today's session first of all we had discussed about definition of liquid dosage forms the dosage forms which remain finally in liquid state are called as liquid dosage forms then we had discussed that liquid dosage forms are divided into monophasic and biphasic liquid dosage forms in this session we had discussed various monophasic liquid dosage forms used for internal administration like syrups elixirs linctus drops and drops the monophasic liquid dosage forms which are used for external application and biphasic liquid dosage forms like emulsions and suspensions we will discuss in separate videos thank you for listening me patiently if you like this presentation please click on subscribe button and bell icon to get notifications of all my new videos like it and share it to your dear ones drop your queries in comments or on my mail address which is given in the video thank you once again